<clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome back to my little world. I'm Katie and I'm here today with Charlie and with my full body silicone baby boy Kai. And I would like to welcome you to this little late afternoon video. I received Kai yesterday back from his little trip, from his spa trip. So I thought, why not to make a little video and um, give a kind of like opinion or review of the artist who was working on him and show you what has been done on this baby. And uh, yeah, to share it here on YouTube. And also I will share it like probably like to more details on my Instagram. I will post the link if you would like to see like more from what's happening in my little world. You're welcome to follow us uh, there. As I said, I will post the link there. And so yeah, let me start here. He arrived yesterday and I unpacked him. I inspected everything, like the work that has been done. I'm very, very pleased. I just loved his little foil here because I will be uh, removing that to show you the details on him and uh, has been done. So yeah, let me start here. As I said, he is full body silicone bear by Izzy Zhao. And he has been uh, with me uh, since well, last early summer, I think, or late spring. I uh, adopted this boy from Ines, from Reborn Hüge. And so he's a second hand baby. I received him in perfect condition. Okay, I just want to disclose this. Um, I, but I've had this baby for almost a year now. And why I sent him, where I sent him and uh, what has been done. Um, so basically, I sent him, I was pondering these things. I wanted to uh, the artist to uh, go over him, maybe like professionally remed him like completely because obviously Inas had him, he, I received him in perfect condition and then I had him and I, uh, it's not that I'm stressed about the silicone medium, but I want to keep the dolls uh, as new as it's possible and as long as it's possible. And I was pondering this thing because I really, really love this baby, but I thought he would benefit uh, from armatures, okay? I disclosed, I was talking about it in one of my videos when I was talking about how I was bonding with him and how I felt about the sculpt. And now since I had Rhea, I have been really loving the armatures on that baby. I didn't even know at first, like like last year, because I made a video last year talking about it, about how I was enjoying this sculpt, what I loved about it, what I would change maybe perhaps if I could. And the only thing that I could think of were armatures, like especially in his arms. And I did, I don't know, uh, it didn't even cross my mind because as I said, I've never seen bear. I asked around, uh, nobody was putting armatures into uh, Izzy's babies. So, and I didn't even know if anyone, any artist would be willing to do it on already finished work of their colleague. Because I know that artists obviously are adding armatures, even some do it on painted babies. And not everybody uh, is confident enough to be messing uh, with, their, uh, with some, somebody else's work. And even though I didn't have him repainted or anything, I just wanted to add the armatures. Um, I didn't really, I wasn't really asking around because I know that silicone is kind of, you know, that these dolls are expensive and people just want to maybe service or work or help you with their own work. They don't want to be doing uh, other, like touching other artists, uh, dolls, the painting or whatever, unless you're just getting, the doll rerouted, which is a common practice. So anyways, I decided I'm going to send him. I'm, uh, I, I'm going to try to find someone who would do armatures for this baby. And I have been friends with Mercedes Valenzuela for a very long time. Well, very long time. I've been following her for a couple of years, even though, uh, when I was, uh, not collecting silicone dolls. I still was following her because I, first of all, I love her work. Second of all, she's very like pioneering in, 
different techniques and practices with silicone here in the US and I always love to see it regardless if I have the medium or not and she's also a vinyl artist as well so obviously and so I was talking to her I was like months ago that's when she just um, was starting to offering the service of installing the armatures into the dolls even post fact when they were like painted and made it already and everything so I talked to her and I set it up I sent him uh, to her about 10 days ago uh, she received him very fast because she's here in the US and um, she worked on him immediately the very second day and he was done like within two days uh, he would be here sooner but the problem was um, I didn't know or I didn't make sure that she was uh, not preferred like her preferred payment uh, way was not PayPal and so I had to set up the different way to pay her but otherwise I mean he was done like within 48 hours everything that has been done and since I, she had him there I asked her if he if she could um, like um, remed him like professionally I don't mean just powder him obviously because I can powder him but if she just could like um, inspect him if he has any shine spots or anything and just overall like seal him again so she did that for me fabulous so let me show you guys I'm going to undress this boy I, I was thinking about getting uh, full bodied armatures um, that means arms and legs but in the end I decided uh, just to do arms right now because I love the dangly legs okay that's that's the truth I just love it's one of the perks for me in silicone babies that uh, their limbs are kind of dangly and arms I don't mind uh, it's amazing for me uh, to have armatures in their arms because I love to take photography and armatures are amazing for posing I mean I don't have to put any more strain or like trying to like um, make his arms to stay in this position by like uh, putting the clothing or something like beneath and just like pushing it here from there it just goes uh, like that very naturally and I feel like he, it, he looks so beautiful with his armatures but I just love the legs I mean I still want to have that like little dangly effect and they're look they're pretty stable it's not like they're hanging on his side so I decided you know what I'll just um, do the arms now okay come here baby I really like this outfit it's uh, very easy to dress and undress the baby and I will take you off of my tripod and he doesn't have uh, the cloth diaper yet because as I said I wanted to make this video can you still see okay um, let me find a diaper for him okay guys so I changed his diaper it will be easier to show you so as I said I did a uh, complete remetting of his body like uh, to maybe uh, cover he had a couple of shine spots that developed uh, throughout the time even though I really uh, handle him like minimally I don't change him every day I don't change my uh, silicone babies. actually I don't change any of my babies every day because <laughs> because of the time and also I don't want to cause like unnecessary wear and tear since I'm not really like a um, role play reborn collector so you know I just have them displayed in their cute outfits but yeah he I, I did notice a couple of shine spots so I she covered those like melted them perfectly guys they're gone like everything he is literally he's really like literally in brand new condition there's nothing shiny she sealed once again his painting gorgeously and she added uh, armatures and uh, these armatures are seriously like a game changer look I can pose him and I don't have to even if I want to 
let's say his hand to go like a finger or to like su- uh, like position him like he's sucking on his fingers I don't have to be pulling on the mouth even though I was super always careful but I felt okay the hand was just constantly slipping out now I can do like all that guys and I really really love him with with these armatures I feel like it's a total upgrade even in the value of the doll and I love it. and now to Mercedes uh, as I said the service is amazing her communication is very fast she responds to me immediately uh, the longest that I've waited for her response was about two hours during the day when obviously we're all busy but that's 90% of the time she responds to me like within 15 minutes I communicated with her on Instagram I will link her Instagram here and she's a professional her service is the highest quality I am super super thankful for her like taking care of him and all these like all these little teeny tiny shine spots because you know they grow and grow and uh, I don't know how to do it obviously so it was very it was a relief to send the doll even though it's nerve-wracking to pack the doll even when you sell the doll so just like ship it back and forth it was a little bit nerve um I was nervous because of my experience with USPS so I had him fully insured and everything and then she shipped him to me and she was so kind that she shipped him like um uh, directly without even asking me for uh, the shipping money or anything so that was really really sweet of her and plus she insured the baby so that told me she really cares about her customers she really cares about the safety of the doll not only while she has the doll in her possession but also during the transport so Mercedes you rock I love you uh, thank you so much I definitely am looking forward to work with you in the future and yeah, so this is him, guys. This is... Oh, and he had this little dry spot here, which developed like a um, couple of months ago. And I was nervous. I was like, is this appealing or what? And she was able to like uh, completely take care of that. Oh, it was... No, it was on this hand here. It's gone. Like... I'm in awe. I'm so, so happy. So, yeah, this is him. This is Kai with his little uh, new <laughs> new arms, guys. Uh, I'm going to change him. And... Okay, I changed the uh, camera position and I think it's better now. Yeah, it's, I mean, I'm in Chicago and it's... Um, late afternoon it's gloomy so i hope that you will be able to see his beautiful details i know that the camera cannot really capture everything but i'm hoping here that at least something um you know i'm going to use this underneath his head because i don't want see the hair to get static or messed up so here we go i know it's not very realistic but you know what um protection of his hair is the priority here okay so and I have two outfits that I can decide between uh, I, I have this one which I had for ever but I also have the one with bears that I got especially with him in mind but I feel like okay this is more like summery or like springy it's still cold here so I'll just do this one. Come on, baby. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at him. He's so cute. He is so cute. <sighs> yeah. Oh my gosh. I love this boy. Um, all right. Need to open this here. So hopefully you all have been doing well. I've been trying to catch up on a few things on YouTube. 
Um, but otherwise, I've been busy, and also I have this weird, like, late winter fatigue thing going on. So, um, yesterday I actually had time to make the video, but then I was procrastinating way too long, and like all light was gone by the time I was like, okay, maybe I could do something here. So that's why I'm making a video today. I had to wait <laughs> until I unpacked <laughs> or unwrapped his hair the whole night. So he was sleeping with a thing on his head, <laughs> which I mean, it's fine, but yeah. And you know, it's very, uh, even dressing him right now after he has been remetted, it's so easy because everything just slides on him. It's so nice. It's so nice. I mean, this is what I love about silicones when they're matted properly. Um, and sealed properly. Uh, they don't get sticky. They don't get shiny. And I really love how Mercedes... Um, did all that for me. Plus, of course, his arms. I mean, hello, how cute is he now? You know, a little thing like armatures makes the whole world of difference, especially when you're uh, mostly the photographer. That's the way how you enjoy your hobby. And since I've not been very actively making videos uh, on YouTube anymore, uh, not as before, uh, you know, uh, photography is like the main outlet, outlet for me right now. So yeah, I'm greatly benefiting from this decision and I'm super happy about it. And look at that, this is funky. Okay. And he looks super cozy. This is a newborn size which is, he's a small newborn and it looks a little bit baggy on him, but I still like it. I still like him in this. <laughs> Look at that. He's a little munchkin. And I wanted to put maybe a little booties on him, but I won't because I like to see his uh, feet. They're so cute and chubby and like completely squishy, squishy. I mean, look at the hair on this baby. That's some beautiful hair and rooting right there. I like barely touch it. It's still shiny. You don't have to like do nothing. It's still, I call it like juicy mohair when it looks like brand new, when it's shiny. It's not dried up. Uh, you don't have to like drench your doll's head in order to get the nice style on hair for a picture. So I would like for the hair to stay this way. Yeah. You know, I got this doll from Ines, from uh, my best friend here, one of my best friends. And she is, I feel responsible for this baby, even though, you know, he is, right now he's mine in my possession, he's my baby. I still feel okay. I need to keep him in perfect condition because I have received him. He has been loved by her. Uh, this was her custom order. Oh my goodness. So yes, definitely. I just... I'm so happy. Honestly, I, I am happy about his hair being in this beautiful condition because I've seen uh, hairs sometimes of the dolls and they were received or made later than let's say this boy and they, you can tell the hair is messed up completely. Like it's dry, it, uh, the owner is constantly like rubbing it all over the place. And I just, I, I want to keep him in as perfect condition as it's possible, like physically possible, because obviously we're changing them. Uh, even though I'm not doing role play or anything, I don't really carry him around, which the back of the head is one of the reasons I always wear like uh, satin little sleeve thing. If I have the moment when I want to carry him or 
like hold him. I always have something on my sleeve and it still makes me nervous. Just as well as the strollers during the outings, I do have certainly uh, like a big piece in my car seat or in my stroller. So, you know, I want to protect not only him, but all of my dolls. You know, he's treated with love and respect. That's what I wanted to say. Because, you know, sometimes we sell the dolls and we see them in other people's possession and they're not you can already see like the decline in <laughs> the looks i mean i'm sorry i, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings uh, but yeah it's true like i think everyone who sold their dolls out there or who's selling like more dolls at least like once you could see that you know you have been trying to keep the doll in perfect condition uh it's like ocd ink over everything and then you sell the doll and you see that that person it doesn't necessarily mean they're like bad, bad owners or anything, but you see that, yeah, maybe they, they don't pay as much attention to uh, the care or they're not as careful as you or they do like a lot of role play. So, you know, when um, I adopt the doll secondhand or third hand, I really want the previous owner to be sure, you know, that the dolls are loved and as I said, um, they're taken care and loved and respected for what they are, for the art that has been uh, put and the talent and the time into creating these little ones. And yeah. So anyways, guys, I don't want to be rambling forever. Once again, I want to thank Mercedes uh, for everything, for my armatures and for touching him up, for sealing him up again for me. I am a uh, hundred million percent happy about this service and um, thank you Mercedes I really really appreciate you and uh, hopefully you guys are loving him thank you everyone who has been here for the whole time of me rambling I want to wish you wonderful rest of your uh, day and I will see you later this week bye